especially when you're recording something with a mouse movement, you cannot be very, very smooth. So Character Animator provides us with recording control speed so that we can be more precise with our moves. So right now what happens is that if I were to hit the record button, the recording countdown goes out and then I can use the draggable items right here and everything is recorded in real time as you can see right here. So if I were to stop it out, uh, you can see that there's the left and right take right here. If I were to play it, you can see that what happens is that everything that I moved right there is recorded out just like that, everything in real time. Of course, I can go over here and record it out again and then overlap that, this thing out. So I can just overlap this thing. So uh, this hand and that hand is animated separately just like that. All right. So if I were to do this, you can see that there's another take right here. So if I were to play it, you can see that this hand is animating. And then over here, this hand will start animating together as well, just like that. Okay, but this is regarding uh, real-time speed. But let's say I want to be uh, very precise with the animation. Then what I can do is over here in this uh, area, you can see that you have the playback speed, so which is 1. So you can play it back as a slower speed as well. Just like this, if you were to play it, you, you will be able to see that it plays as, at a much more slower speed as you can see right there. Let me just delete out these takes right here so that none of the animation is remaining. So what I'm going to do now is playback speed is going to be 1 times but the recording speed is going to be 0.25 right over here. So now let's see what happens. So the recording is going to happen really, really slow. So I'm just going to hit on the record button right here, just like this, and then slowly move it. So let's say, for example, uh, that this guy is saying hi right over here. So I'm slowly moving the arm out right over here, just like this, as if he is explaining something right over here, just like that. All right and then hit the stop button. And you can see right here now when I play back, since the playback speed is one times, the, the recording speed is 0 0.25. So the, uh, so the recorded speed uh, is quite slow. But once I play back, it'll play out in a regular speed as you can see right there. So let me just stop this out right here and go back on to the beginning again and get this hand down and I'm, I want to dangle this hand a bit just like this. I'm just going to hit the record button again and dangle this hand out. So slowly dangle this hand out right over here just like this and go around and as if the hand is dangling around just like this. All right. So it doesn't seem very still right over here. And okay, now, so now the stop and then what happens is that that hand keeps on dangling right here, just like that. And you can see that both of the hand is moving. And as we record it in a slower pace, what happens is that it's much more easier to, uh, um, to control out, do precise movements with our characters, draggable objects, just like that. And that is how you can uh, work with playback and recording speed controls inside of Adobe Character Animator. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.